A tradition unlike any other. The Clark and Plymouth State men's lacrosse teams always meeting early in the season. The games usually being played at Clark, and there's always some great chirping, too, from the benches. The tradition, the rivalry renewed tonight. Under the lights at Clark University. It was a cold night, but still a good night. Second quarter, 3-2 Clark. Nathan Maslick, good save for Clark. Will Mandrakia for Clark, working the inside roll. And Mandrakia ringing the post. Drew Letterer, former Wachusett standout on the ISO. Letterer rips and scores. Nice shot, bottom corner, and he ties the game up for Plymouth State. Clark looking to answer. Brandon King sets his feet. Laser off the post. Cougars on the break. Kyle Elkins, the draw and dump to King. Cannon upstairs for the goal. Clark has a 4-3 lead. Third quarter. Galen Antolino on the ISO. Antolino the shot on the run. He scores. 5-4 Plymouth State in front. Panthers, Thomas Kelly. Great bounce shot for the goal. It is 6-4 Plymouth State. The Panthers up by two. Down the other end. Mandrakia. Great vision. Finding Andrew Meyer on the crease. Meyer's got a twine finder, and it's 6-5. Clark's down by one. And the bench is getting into it. They're just loving it. Clark's not done. It was a party on the bench all night long. Back and forth up top. Isaac Bass cranks up and ripples. We got a brand new game. We're tied up at six. Final seconds of the third quarter. Kyle Elkins, former Neshoba standout. Cannon rippling. Clark up 7-6. His younger brother plays for Plymouth State, so this is a big one for him. Nick Johnson has three assists for Clark on the night. Now 178 career points, second most in school history. Clark wins 11-6, your final. Former Algonquin star Steph McGovern leading Assumption against third-ranked LeMoyne in women's lacrosse. First half, 3-0 LeMoyne. Vicki Graveline on the ISO right into the teeth of the defense. She scores. Dolphins have a 4-0 lead. Hounds getting physical. Lemoyne feeding the crease. Tori Russo says this road's closed. It was an infraction, though. Lemoyne continuing to pressure. Nicole Delaney on the doorstep. Fires and Jacqueline Churko with a great save. Lemoyne on the break. Graveline taking it to the net. Churko with a huge save. Quincy Wilkins, eight meter. Steps in and rips it on. Hannah George with a big save, keeping it out of the net for LeMoyne. Then Wilkins on the ISO. Wilkins working a nice little split dodge. Fires and just wide of the cage. Caitlin Graves, eight meter. Graves on the run, laser off the post. So close, the crowd can't believe it. Final seconds of the half. Graves getting the shot off. Good save. Lemoyne gets the win. 10 to 3 is your final today. Clark and Wheaton in baseball action. Top of the first scoreless game. Runner on second, two outs. Clark's Patrick Robinson getting the strikeout to end the inning. Bottom of the first. Man on third. Wheaton's Mike Brumel gets the strikeout to end the inning. Top third. Robinson dealing. And he gets the strikeout to end the inning. So back and forth we go. That was the top of the second. Bottom of the second, base is loaded. Brumel gets the strikeout to end the inning. Top third. Runners at the corners. Josh LaJoy hits one to the wall. Joey Santagate scores. one nothing Wheaton. LaJoy's got himself an RBI double. Same inning, 2 nothing Wheaton now. Jared Sharkey drills one through the left side. LaHoy coming in to score 3-0 Lions. Still in the third. Runners at the corners. Wheaton stealing. Chris Dibble says, not on my watch. And he guns him down at second. Nick Jordan applying the tag. Bottom of the third. Clark, runners at the corners. Adam Chokrick with the sack fly. Kyle Benicki tagging and scoring. But Wheaton getting the win today. They are too much as they take it. 14-2 is your final.
And coming up this Saturday, just a reminder, great basketball game for a great cause. The Worcester Police Department taking on the Worcester Fire Department at the Friendly House. The game starts at high noon. $10 is the admission, and all of the proceeds will go to benefit the team program at the Friendly House. They do such a great job. Again, high noon, Worcester Police versus Worcester Fire on the basketball court, all for a great, great cause. Some good lacrosse tonight, though, in the Clark men with that come-from-behind victory over Plymouth State. Great game and just great excitement on the sideline. They were dancing all night long. They were chirping at the Plymouth State kids. It was a good atmosphere. They don't let the cold weather stop them. No, it doesn't Even bother them at all. Going to get a little snow in April. It's nothing like, you know, spring sports and a little winter weather. <laughs> plow the turf. Just plow the turf and keep playing. Get some heaters. Yeah. <laughs> that's sports and that's our show. For Kevin Shea, I'm Catherine Andreoli. Thanks for watching Worcester News tonight. Have a good night.